Hi everybody, so today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make your own FM26 skin. So as you can see on the screen, uh, this is the most recent skin that I have made, which is the dark mode skin. You can see that all the tiles have been changed from the uh, original color. Um, the squad screen has been changed. Tactics is, is now a different color as well. Uh, and when you actually go to the tactics screen, you can also see that a lot of the elements have been changed. And this even carries over um, into the match day and pre-match and post-match. I'm going to start very bare bones and work our way up. This can get very complicated by comparison of how skins used to be made. So hopefully you can follow along and it all makes sense. So as I mentioned, my skin is now available. Sounds weird. My skin is now available to download on both FM Scout and Sort It Out SI. The links will be in the description below. For this uh, tutorial, I want to heavily thank uh, Budweiser for uh, Sit and Alex Morak who are on the Sports Interactive uh, forums, but they've also uh, made their own skins. They've been really helpful in gathering all the information and kind of uh, all contributing very heavily uh, within the forums. So uh, thank you to them. Firstly, we're going to start with the background, which is the black bit which my cursor is hovering over here. And uh, this is going to be using UABAA. So um, you will only be able to do this on Windows at the moment. If you watched my last video, you'd know how to download and install uh, UABEA. So I'm not going to go over that right now, uh, but the link will be down in the description below. Um, when you unzip the file, you will get a application that looks like this. If you double click it, you will get a text box that looks like this. Now, the first thing we'll need is the actual game files, and I'll show you how to direct to them. Firstly, if you're on Windows, you can go to your uh, C drive or wherever your game is installed. Go to x86, Steam, Steam apps, Steam common, Football Manager 26, FM data, streaming assets, and double A. You'll want to click standalone Windows 64. Now, these are the game files, and we won't be working with all of them, but I will show you a select view that that I did work on for my skin. So here I have the extracted files and I've separated them into graphics and code. So these files here are the ones that you can change the graphics of and this is often using PNGs. So for example, I'm going to show you how to change the background now. So to change the background in Football Manager 26, you want to go to the standalone Windows 64 folder, search for UI backgrounds assets common, take this file and put it into UABEA. So editor Kelsey, uh, I just thought I'd mention make Make sure you back up every single file that you want to change. Um, if you edit them and then something goes wrong and your game crashes, you will need to reinstall the game. So it's a good idea to back up everything that you have. Once you've done that, you can click info and this will bring up all the PNGs. Now these are currently still a bundle, so we'll need to extract these. You can extract every single file here other than the bundle file. However, not all of these are changeable in the way that you think they are. For this case, the generic background that is used is FM Skin V2. Now, in order to export this, we go to plugins, export to texture and then we select a location so for me i'll go straight to the desktop once we've done that we can close down uaba if we then navigate to our desktop where we exported the file we can see the file here now i had some comments about how do you actually change uh, these graphics it's pretty simple if you have photoshop you can open them in photoshop which i've done here this is my custom one as i have my skin currently loaded but all you'll have to do is on the file that you get edit it in the way that you want and then I'll show you how to pop it back in now. So once you've edited your image, you'll want to reopen the bundle file in UABEA. You can do this by pressing info and then navigating back to that FM skin V2. If you then go to plugins, you will then click edit texture this time and click OK. If you then click load on this texture button here, you can then select the skin that or the background that you have made and then save it. You will then need to save in both the assets info window and you will need to save in UABEA and click save here. Once you've done that, the background will then be loaded. But usually it's very hard to get this bit wrong as all you're changing is an image for an image that is like for like. So just going back, these are the graphics images that you were able to change. I'm not going to go through them all today but you are able to change different assets within these bundles. If you need any help, I can answer you in the comments below and tell you where to find uh, different things. However, not everything is editable at the moment. Now, I would say this is the more so hard bit and where things can go wrong. In order to actually change tiles and the things that you see on FM26, so for example, all of these tiles here, the squad menus, changing the rows, anything like that, you will need to go through and actually change the code itself. Now, this isn't too complicated, but it is long-winded. So two key files that you may need, you may not need them, 
however, is that on the forum, there are these two uh, folders that you can get. There's styles report, which are HTML uh, documents that allow you to see the different colors of all the elements within the game. And we also have Figma styles report, which will make more sense in a little bit. But these are most of the uh, changeable elements uh, within the UI that you can change the colors of, but they don't actually say the specific thing to what they are in game. So for example, it won't tell you that it is this tile or this tactics board. Now, if we go back to code, which I had, these are just taken from that exact same game file where we got the background from earlier. All you'll need to do is search for these names in there, copy and paste them into your own files and edit them there. I've also made text documents, which have compiled all the information which is available on the forums um, and also uh, the color scheme that I used. I recommend when you're making a skin, make sure you know the RGB color scheme of the skin that you want to make first and then go through and change things. So for example, for this tutorial, we'll be looking at UI styles as it's common, which if I'm honest, is probably the only one that you really need to change to really make a skin your own. It's important to note as well that in every single one of the text files, uh, you will see at the top the file name in the bundle file that you will need to change. So for example, in the file that we changed in this sense, UI styles asset common, we are actually changing the file Figma styles variable, which is available in the text document in the description below. So hopefully that helps. So if we open this up, we get a long list which tell you what every single number does. If we then go back to UABEA, we can then take UI styles asset common bundle, open that in UABEA and press info again. Now there's a lot more here than what I just showed. The main thing in which we'll be changing for our skin is Figma styles variables. If we click edit data, if we go into edit data, do control F and then I, you can either search for color or you can search for R equals, and this will bring up the first uh, color value. Everything in the game uses a zero to one integer for colors. Now you will need to use an RGB color picker, which can be found here, and I'll link it in the link in the description. But if you go to RGB zero to one, you can then change and get the code for the colors that you want. If you're using hex colors, for example, in Photoshop, you can also copy and paste the hex code into the top and it will convert it to RGB for you. So in this code, there are also A values, which is the opacity, which I recommend changing to zero for things like rows if you don't want there to be any. However, you can change anything to be zero so that it is completely see-through. So if we go back to the edit data, we can see a long list that has color RGBA and a number at the top. This number at the top indicates the element. So what we can do is we can then use the list over here and we can then see what is the changeable element we are looking at. So if we go to number eight, this is the tile color in which you see on Football Manager. So that is these sorts of colors when they're not highlighted. So using the RGB color picker, we can then just change this to whatever we want. You can go through this notepad file and look at all the numbers and change them to whatever you want, to the color scheme that you want. And then the final thing you'll need to do after you've changed all the colors is to make sure you click OK, save on assets info, close this down, and then save again on UABEA. Once you've done that, the file that you have edited will now have those colors associated. In order to get them onto the game, you will then need to copy and paste these files into the game files as you did uh, previously with the background. What will happen at that point is you will need to then open up your game. Make sure when you're doing this that you do not have the game open whatsoever. But when you open up the game, you should be able to see that the colors have changed. For some reason, macOS uses different bundle files, although they, they are the exact same. So in order to make a skin that is appropriate for both Windows and Mac, you will need those original Mac files and edit them the same that you have the Windows files. So yeah, that is roughly it. You can change a lot of elements within Football Manager 26's uh, graphics. I haven't gone through them all today. And in terms of the skin, uh, you can go through the text files and see for yourself what elements that you can um, change. As well, I recommend going over to the forum if you need any, question, any questions answering uh, or want anything filled in. As well, you can take my skin uh, from FM Scout and sort it out SI and you can change it for yourself. But yeah, hopefully this video uh, has helped a lot. And the only thing I'd recommend is don't go changing uh, loads of things and crashing your game and then being surprised at what happens change within the parameters in which are on the text document and then you can maybe explore once you have your files 
uh, saved correctly. But yeah, so I hope this helps.